order to pack the column with resin, the column head must be removed. To do this, the operator uses an Allen key to loosen the bolts at the top of the column. With the column bolts removed, the piston is gently removed and placed on a trolley. In order to pack the column, the operator must mix the resin to form a slurry suitable to be poured into the column. To mix the resin, a sanitized polypropylene paddle is used to create a vortex above the settled resin. The resin is then carefully brought into suspension using the paddle, with care taken not to damage the resin beads. Once the resin has been mixed into a slurry, it is ready to be introduced into the column. Once the resin has been mixed to form a slurry, the operator immediately pours the resin into the chromatography column with the aid of a sanitized funnel. A wash bottle may be used to rinse any resin attached to the funnel or column wall into the column. After the chromatography resin has been poured into the column, the piston may be reinstalled. Before placing the piston into the column, the piston seal is lubricated with buffer to prevent damage to the seal during installation. The operator lowers the piston to a defined distance above the slurry, as per the protocol. The piston seal nut is then tightened.